Accurate leaning yields optimal engine temperatures. Using your EDM to precisely adjust the mixture, your engine can produce the best fuel economy or maximum power. Proper leaning technique can seem confusing at first, but will become second nature with a little flight time and practice. Most of us were taught the Rich of Peak method for proper leaning. More recently, with expensive fuel costs and the precise information your EDM gives you, Lean of Peak, or LOP, is becoming more common. We'll start with the traditional Rich of Peak method. Upon reaching cruise configuration, lean using the lean find mode to identify the first cylinder to reach peak EGT. Begin the leaning process by pre-leaning the mixture to about 50 degrees below the estimated peak in any one of the cylinders. To enter lean find mode, tap the black lean find button. The scan will stop. The display will briefly say lean R for rich of peak you will see the exhaust gas temperature of the hottest cylinder displayed. Slowly lean the mixture of the engine at a rate of about 5 degrees per second continuously. The lean fine will become active for the hottest cylinder indicated by the flashing cylinder number on the bottom. If you have the fuel flow option, the fuel flow rate will be shown on the numeric display. Stop leaning when the blue EGT column begins flashing. You will see leanest on the display, followed by the value of the exhaust gas temperature of the first cylinder to peak. In most cases, you will now be a little on the lean side of peak, usually by about 10 degrees. While the column is flashing, slowly enrich the mixture. Go past peak and lower. Stop enriching at the desired exhaust gas temperature, usually about 20 degrees rich of peak for best economy. That's all there is to it for the rich of peak method. To save fuel and run cooler, you can use the lean of peak method. You'll simply stay on the lean side of peak after peak EGT, precisely controlling the over peak value with your EDM. First, tap lean find and then immediately hold both the step and the lean find buttons until you've seen lean L. For the duration of the flight, your EDM will remember to use the lean of peak method anytime you use the lean find mode. Also, you can set your EDM to always be in lean of peak mode on power up. We'll learn more about this in the pilot programming section later. Like with the rich of peak method, pre-lean to just a little below your peak EGT and press the black lean fine button. Lean fine will become active when there is a 15 degree rise in EGT indicated by the blinking square surrounded by the number of the hottest cylinder. The fuel flow rate will be shown on the right display when installed. When the first EGT peaks, you will see the word leanest, and the graph display will invert to what we call the icicle graph. Continue leaning until the last EGT peaks, indicated by the word richest, and the blinking EGT number N column. The blue column will stop blinking, and the two cylinder numbers will be surrounded by squares. The leanest and the blinking richest cylinder. The key understanding here is that running your engine just past its peak EGT will lower the overall temperatures at a lower fuel burn. You can now fly your aircraft at a much higher efficiency while running cooler. The EDM 830 fuel flow feature uses the known quantity of fuel aboard and keeps track of all fuel consumed. To quickly program the main and auxiliary tank capacity in your aircraft, hold the white step button down during boot up. Use the black lean find button to set the main tank value. Push the white step button and again set the auxiliary tank capacity. The EDM will now remember these values unless you reprogram them in the future. For fuel calculations to be accurate, it is imperative that you enter into the EDM 830 the correct amount of fuel aboard the aircraft. The fuel flow feature provides these values in the indexing sequence. They are time to empty at the current fuel rate burn displayed in hours and minutes, gallons per hour, total fuel used since last refueling, 
or accumulated since the last time the total was reset. Fuel remaining in all tanks. If you have your GPS interfaced with your EDM 830, you will have the following additional values. Fuel required to the next GPS fix. The fuel reserve you'll have on reaching the next fix and nautical miles per gallon based on the current ground speed and fuel burn rate. When you first turn on the EDM 830, you'll be asked if you filled, added, or removed fuel from the tanks. If you tap step, your answer is no. You have not changed the amount of fuel on board. If you have added fuel, tap Lean Find. You will see the total capacity of your main tanks. Tap Step if this is the total fuel in your tanks to resume the scan. If you have auxiliary tanks, tapping the black Lean Find button will show the fuel capacity of both main and auxiliary tanks. If you topped your tanks and now have the displayed amount of fuel in the aircraft, tap the white Step button to continue the scan. If you have added or removed fuel, tap Lean Find past the main and auxiliary fill amounts and you will see fill plus minus. Tap step and you will see a zero value. If you added fuel, hold the Lean Find button down and the amount displayed will increase. If you overshoot or remove fuel, simply tap the Lean Find button to obtain the correct amount. Tap step when you're finished entering fuel information and your scan will resume. The EDM 730 and 830 has factory and user programmable alarms. When a parameter exceeds its normal range, the column will turn yellow, then blinking red. The digital numeric display will flash red, with the value and abbreviation of the alarming item in red. When an alarm is displayed, tapping the white step button will temporarily disable the alarm for the next 10 minutes. You can also hold down the step button until the word off appears. That will disable that alarm for the remainder of the flight.